Hans vlogs every day in April. Hello, my friends. I'm Professor Hans von Puppet. Welcome back to Vlog Every Day in April. It's the 23rd of April. Yesterday was Earth Day, so perhaps this is more suited to yesterday. But that's when I saw this incredible uh, video, this TED Talk from this scientist called Alan Savory. And I want to tell you about it and draw your attention to it. I'll put a link right there. Boop. And you can click that any time and watch it. It's 22 minutes long, but it's fascinating, and it really is wonderful and worth sharing. I will give you the highlights. Okay, global warming, climate change. The world is getting hotter, okay? And we all pretty much agree, the smart people anyway, agree it's a lot of it is due to, uh, to carbon dioxide, to stuff burning, to carbon that used to be dinosaur bones and all that stuff. It's fossil fuels. We burn it up as coal, as gasoline, as uh, natural gas. All of this carbon burning put CO2 into the atmosphere. But that's not the whole picture, okay? Even if we stop with CO2, if we go all electric, solar-powered cars for somehow, uh, immediately, we are still going to big climate change problem because there are big areas of the world that are turning into deserts. These deserts around the world, in Africa, and Asia, and in the Western United States, and South America, um, they were not always deserts, okay? They might be really dry during part of the year, they don't have a rainy season, but uh, because they have been denuded of grasses, all right, the water does not stick around. It'll flood and then run right off and soak into the ground, and nothing grows, and it stays a desert, and it gets really hot during the day. And because a larger and larger percentage of the Earth's surface is covered with this hot, hot desert, it is causing the temperature of the whole Earth to go up, which gives us big hurricanes and big storms and all kinds of other problems that are bad for human existence. Okay? Now, this dude, Alan Savory, he is pretty smart, and he has figured out through decades of research and trying this that the way to solve this is to get the grass to go back into the grasslands, right? Now, 20 years ago, they decided that there were too many animals grazing uh, all over the world, and all these cattle grazing and eating all the grass was what was causing the global warming. But the thing is, when the cattle grazed on the grass, or the goats or whatever, they would eat the grass, then they would walk around, and they would poop it all back out and pee on it and everything. Then they would kind of move on because they don't want to eat the grass they've just pooped on, right? So they would go on and eat the next bunch of grass to take it fine farther along, right? And their poop and everything took care of the ground. And as you are gardeners, you know, pooping on your garden, well, don't poop in your own garden, but that sort of stuff is what makes the, the soil enriched and allows it to grow grass again the next season. And when the rain comes, it stays and grows, right? So what this guy says is, you can take a herd of cattle or goats or whatever, or water buffalo, and uh, you just sort of graze them in a desert. You know, if there's any vegetation there at all, any dried grass, whatever, you graze them in the desert in a very specific, detailed, managed way, where you graze them and move them and graze them and move them. They will process the desert and turn the desert back into incredible grasslands that then the cattle can come back and eat again and graze again. And this will turn the deserts of the world back in to lush, productive grasslands like they used to be, I don't know, 100 years ago, right? Before the dust bowl and before, you know, the uh, clear cutting of the rainforests and all that stuff, okay? This is blowing my mind. The idea that the answer to global warming is to <laughs> eat more beef and the grass-fed beef. You know, cows, they evolved for millions of years to have these crazy stomachs that can eat grass and then give you meat and milk and they are super lovely. Now, in America, we grow cattle and uh, we feed them a little bit of grass, but then we want them to get fat faster so we can sell them faster, and so we feed them corn, which we have to grow with a lot of fertilizer, which is made of, guess what? Oil that comes out of the ground. We get oil out of the ground, we put it on the ground to put the nutrients back on top of the earth, we grow corn, give corn to the cows. The cows don't really like the corn. It makes them sick. They need antibiotics and all these drugs and everything, and that ends up back in you. If we just let the cows eat the grass, you see, and have our cows growing on that, our beef is sort of more natural. I mean, evolution, which is the trouble of evolving these cows for all of these millennia to, uh, to live on grass, and we're feeding them and we're feeding them corn. And as a bonus, the cows can eat the grass, and then they can cool the world back off by helping the land to actually be more fertile. This is a crazy idea. I've talked almost as long as Alan Savory. Anyway, click on that guy right there and watch his TED Talk. I hope it inspires you for Earth Day as much as it has me. I'm going to go get a burger, I think. See you tomorrow. Now, just to be clear, this is not some viral video I'm jumping on the bandwagon with. I don't know how I stumbled upon this today, but it's only got like 900 views. 
So, you know, check it out, boost it up, spread it around, put it on your Facebook page. If the ideas this guy's talking about reach you and make you think, hey, maybe there's something new we could do with the world to fix it that is so simple and so useful, oh, spread the word. Because that is really the best good the internet can do.